So, Lonnie here again. I stopped to fish in this little stream, but fish is not very good. We've had a lot of bad drought years and this stream was bone dry for like two years. So I don't know if there's even anything going on in there, but we'll try it a little bit later. Anyway, I thought I'd take a couple seconds to talk about purifying your water and making sure you don't get Jardia. Um, I've never had Jardia. I've seen somebody with it. It might not kill you, but let me tell you something. If you see the effects of Jardia, if when you're backpacking, you might wish it did kill you. So you just want to be really careful about your drinking water. If you're going to boil your water, if you have to boil it, your water has to come to a complete boil. You want it bubbling before you even think of cooling it down and drinking it. Another thing that I usually keep in my pack when I'm backpacking is I'll keep those portable water tablets. And those seem to work pretty good. One time me and my buddy Bo were backpacking up in Golden Trout Wilderness. Our, our water filter failed. Um, we had two filters, they both failed. His had problems, mine had a crack in it or something. So we used those portable water tablets. We followed the directions and no one got sick. So I use one of these old school Catadyne style filters. You can pick them up at Bass Pro Shops, Big Five Sporting Goods, good price. I mean, everything's available at REI. I don't go to REI much because I just, I'm not a man of means and I can't afford to go to REI. They have top of the line equipment, but you're usually gonna pay a premium for it. Um, if you're gonna, I mean, if you're gonna do like mountain climbing or something, you're buying that equipment, I'd definitely go to REI because they got the experts and they would definitely help you. But no, uh, I'm more of a Bass Pro Shops guy. So, this is a Cat and I water filter. It's got a physical filter in it. And it'll, it's good enough. To, I mean, you probably don't want to use this thing down in the Amazon where they got microbial life in the river that you don't even want to know what it's going to do to you once it gets inside. But this is good for Jardia. All mountain streams, I don't care how high you are, you don't know if there's a dead animal in the river upstream. You, you have no idea. You don't want to take a chance with, with getting sick. When you're dealing with your this kind of physical filter, you want to make sure you keep your this hose that goes in the water with your outtake hose that goes to drinking completely separate. I keep them in separate bags. You never let them touch. And if this hose ever gets any direct river or lake water on it, or it gets cross-contaminated with the hose that goes in the water, you want to stick this thing in the sun and you want to let it dry completely. You don't want any water left in it. It sounds like it's overkill. When you're, you know, 7, 10, 15 miles in the woods, you don't, overkill is what you want to do. An ounce of prevention is, this is the rule. You just don't want to take any chances. So these filters are nice. Um, I like these. They have those UV filters now. I mean, they're UV water purifiers. You put the stick in and it lights. I'm old fashioned. I don't like that in any way. I don't like the stuff that's in the river. I don't want to drink everything that's in the river. This filters out all of the solids. You know, I use a collapsible bucket when I'm backpacking sometimes to filter water and I scoop it out and there's like stuff swimming in there. And if you put the light in there, it might make the water safe, but you're still drinking. It's like there's sea monkeys inside the bucket. I'm not drinking sea monkeys. <laughs> Anyone that's old knows that sea monkeys are. There's, for people that are young, sea monkeys are these ads that used to be in comic books and stuff. And they'd have a picture of these little things with crowns swimming in front of a castle. And then you'd order it uh, through the mail order and you'd get it and it would be a, like a bag of dried brine shrimp. It was the biggest, the biggest fake you've ever seen. Anyway, so you wanna filter your water. You wanna be careful. You don't wanna risk contaminating, contamination. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll filter my water, but if I don't want too much of a hassle, I'll use collapsible buckets to take my water back to the camp with me. And, I, and I'll cook with the river water or the lake water. You know, and just make sure it comes to a complete boil. 
because a complete boil will kill anything in there that's going to make you sick. So I'm full. Now the next thing I do is I take this out. This is my outtake hose or my intake hose. I put this aside and I deal with the hose that really matters. You just want to be really methodical when you're doing this because this is the difference between you getting really sick and being in trouble. Worst case scenario, you're taking a helicopter ride out of there because you can't hike out because you're so dehydrated from the diarrhea that it would kill you. So I get as much water off this hose as possible. And I put it in this clearly marked bag for my outlet hose. I put this in here, I seal it up, it's a Ziploc bag so when it's inside of the main bag it's not going to get cross contaminated. Then I deal with this filthy dog. Shake as much water out. During a backpacking trip, you know, sometimes they just take it out and let it all dry out. It's always good, it never hurts to let everything dry out <coughs> so you can start from scratch. So you get this guy in his Ziploc. He's in his Ziploc. Then you deal with your filter. I pump the water out of the filter. Anything on this side of the filter can spill, can do anything. It's not contaminated. It's already run through the filter. Red is for dead. That goes on this side right here. You want to make sure that you don't get anything cross-contaminated. I sound like a super cautious guy, but I'm telling you, I've been doing this a long time and I've 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 almost died making big mistakes. So I try to I'm trying to pass on some of this stuff so that people don't have to go through the same pains that either I went through or I watched people that I went on trips with go through. From altitude sickness to Jardia to bad bears. I've, I've been there and I've seen it and it's all stuff to be avoided. So then everything's out. There's another cap that goes on there which I lost on the first day. Put that in there. Now I'm not backpacking. I'm just hiking up this little creek to see if those fish and shoot a couple clips. When I'm backpacking, sometimes I don't even put the outlet hose back in here. I just keep the outlet hose away from the, the filter and everything, or I'll put, which makes more sense. I put the outlet hose and the filter in the bag, and I put this in another compartment in my fishing pack. I always bring my day pack with me. Once again, overkill, maybe. You don't you you don't want diarrhea when you when you're backpacking. So don't don't take chances. There's there's certain times in life when you want to gamble. That's not a thing you want to gamble with. <laughs> Especially if there's bears around or something weird like that and you're sick. It's going to be horrible. You don't want to go backpack to an extraordinary place and then have to spend the entire time trying to feel good enough so that you might be able to hike out under your own power. I mean, that's, that's not a good backpacking trip. So, ounce of prevention, pound of prevention. It should be your motto at all times. So, I hope this keeps you from getting sick. <laughs> and, uh, you know, those UV light things are good. I mean, I'm a dude, I've never owned a microwave oven, so I'm not gonna have a fancy UV light. <laughs> <laughs> sterilizer in the water. I just, I look at that thing, it looks like a magic stick to me, I don't know. I want to run it through a filter and know that stuff got strained out of there. Anyway, probably makes no sense to those who know. But uh, I hope this was helpful. Hope it keeps you from getting sick. Uh, thanks for watching uh, Wilderness with Imani. And until um, next time, thank you.